Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Madison again. I have another art project for you to do at home today. So this one, um, we are going to be making stained glass um, circle prints. So what you're gonna need for this is some paper. Um, just regular paper will do. If you're using um, something sort of thinner like printer paper, uh, make sure that you have something underneath it because we are going to be working for with paint for this one. But if you do not have black paint, that's all right. I have an alternative for you with a black marker. So you'll need your paper, you'll need your black paint or your black marker, um, and then you'll need something to put your paint in. I'm just using coffee filters. Um, and you will need a toilet paper tube and some coloring utensils, markers, watercolors, crayons, whatever your heart desires. So, what we're going to be doing with all of these things is something like this. So I've already printed out all my circles so that they're dry and I can show you the next steps. But when you do this, if you're doing it with paint, you would need to wait for it to dry before you can move on to the color part like I've done up here. So first things first, you get your paper and all your supplies and you're going to take your black paint and your toilet paper tube and you're just gonna kinda dip it in there so that you get some on the circle there and then you're just going to add one wherever you want, just like that, see? And it makes a print. So I'll have to wait for that one to dry before I go near it, but if you do not have uh, paint, what you can do is you can just take that toilet paper tube and you can use a black marker to trace around it on your paper and you'll get the same effect. So once that's all dry, what you're gonna do next is you are just going to take some of your coloring utensils. So I did kind of a mix of crayons and markers here. I've got a little bit of everything going on. So you can use whatever you want. Watercolor will also look really pretty if you have access to watercolor paints. Or you can water down acrylic if you just have those. But what I decided to do is kind of a spring colored uh, color scheme here. I, I picked all blues and yellows and greens. So I've started coloring in my circles and you know sometimes doing different things where the circles overlap, playing around with blending some colors and you know just mix and matching. So I'm going to take Hmm, let's do a blue and a green and you know what I'm just gonna take my two crayons together like this and I'm just gonna start coloring in the same square and see what happens or same circle Pfft, not a square and just play around be experimental with this there are no rules it's your art and you get to decide so I'm just kind of coloring in at the same time, maybe I'll switch to one now that I'm closer to the edges. Finish off with my blue. You make the rules. Maybe you want to do an ombre in one. So for that, you would need to have, you know, sort of the same colors. Um, like one darker and one lighter. So I'm going to take this green and I'm going to take a light green. And I am going to start with the dark green at the top, like so. And I'm gonna kinda work it in until about halfway. And then I'll start, you know, not pushing so heavy. I'm pushing lighter now. And then I'll take my light green and I'll kinda start back in the middle, overlap a little bit with that darker green and then bring it down to the end. You see how that works? So now I have an ombre, or a gradient, as it's called in art, where one color moves to another color, nice and evenly. And you would just keep playing around like this until you fill up all your circles. You could even do stuff in the background if you want, but when you're done, you get this really pretty kind of stained glass looking picture that you've made. So, as always, drop pictures in the comments below if you decide to do this craft. Um, parents, really, the only cleanup that you'll need after this, there's no water or paintbrushes involved, is to just throw these things out when you're done. Make sure you're wearing a smock so you keep your clothes nice and clean. 
and stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. Bye, guys.